Hi everyone! Let me give you a quick demo of how Playwright's new UI mode works. But first of all, let me just take you back a little bit so you can understand where we started, how Playwright was working before, and so you can really see the developer experience and the improvements the new UI mode brings. So I've just installed Playwright using the VS Code extension, and I've moved the demo to do app into the test folder so I can run that. So previously, what we were doing was we were going in here and then in VS Code, clicking the green triangle to run our test. Now this opens the testing sidebar and runs through the test and we have that green check mark, which is great, but nothing visual. So do we believe that test? And this is why we brought in the show browser checkbox. So by checking this, then when we run this test, what it does is it opens up a browser and we can visually see what was going on. So this is a huge improvement. But Playwright is so fast that it goes through everything so quickly, we really didn't understand what went on. So in order to really see what's going on or debug, we would use debug mode, of course, and step through you know, that test. But we could only go forward, we couldn't go back. Now, another thing we were doing was using the trace viewer, which was created for uh, debugging on CI, but many people wanted to use the trace viewer locally, which we created a flag for that dash dash trace on and they were able to run the trace viewer to see a trace of their tests while creating the actual test. But people wanted watch mode. They wanted to be able to edit this test and visually see it running as they made the changes. And because they love trace viewer, they want watch mode, how could we put that together and create a really nice developer experience? So we did that using the uh, UI mode and UI mode is basically that. So let me just open up a new terminal uh, here and what we do is run npx playwright test dash dash ui is our flag dash dash ui. We run that and this is then going to open up our UI mode. So let me uh, zoom in a little bit, put it into full screen. And what you're seeing here is basically a uh, timeline view just like in VS Code. So all our tests are here, our new to do demo is here and each test um, is here. And we can, you know, filter this just like in VS Code, we can also filter by projects, Firefox, WebKit, passed, failed, and skipped. So in the middle here, we have our trace viewer. If you've seen the trace viewer before, this is now a live trace of your tests. So let me show you it in action. We're gonna click the play button, just like you would in VS Code. And this time it's gonna run through that test. Now, that was really fast as well, I know, but this time we can go back and forward in our own time. We can hover, we can go back and forward, and we can really see what's going on. So you can see here, um, we're filling something in. You can see the action, what was happening before, what was happening after, so we can really understand our test. You can see at the bottom in the source code, it's highlighting as I hover, it's showing the actual code, which line of code is being used here. And we could see if we did have anything in the console or the network, we'd see that here, and we have the full log. Um, of what's going on in that particular um, test. And we have also our metadata here, just like in the trace viewer as normal. And for live debugging, etc., you know, you can also pop this out just like in the trace viewer, inspect that and basically work through um, any kind of debugging issues that you want to. You have up here the timeline as well, so you can go back and forth in the timeline or in the middle, the DOM snapshot. So um, what happens now when people want to actually you know, watch their tests, what they do is click on this little eye icon. Now I'm watching this one test, we could watch a number of tests, we could watch all tests, that's up to the actual user. And what we want to do is edit this. So we can click open in VS Code, click that icon, and it goes straight into VS Code right onto the line of that particular test. And I'll just show you really quickly if I just change the code here, uh, UI demo. So I'm just, you know, changing this and you can see that test is rerun as it's being watched. So that was a kind of a passing test, so nothing exciting there. But what if we made the test fail? You know, I can just say Debbie in here and save that, it's gonna run that and this test is gonna fail. And as it's gonna time out, we now basically can see where it timed out, what happened, we can go before and back uh, to try and understand what was making this test fail. So as that's kind of continuing, I'm gonna show you how to fix this. We have the option here of pick locator, so we can literally click on this. And what we can do then is actually go and find the 
locator that we want. So this is the placeholder, what needs to be on. So there my, my test timed out, so that's fine. That's what it was expected. So now I'm clicking on this uh, pick locator and I can see this is the get by placeholder, what needs to be done, right? It couldn't find what needs to be done, Debbie. This is the one that I found and I can copy that and now I can go, you know, back in here and I can paste that in uh, just like this page dot, paste it in, press save, go back to here and you can see that that is running and it ran true and my test uh, passed just as expected. So that's basically the UI mode. Um, watch your tests, open in VS Code, play your tests, play all your tests, watch the trace of each and every one of those tests click on each individually, hover back and forward, uh, go through absolutely everything that you want to and edit, pick the locator before and after, pop it out, timeline, filter, etc. And that's the UI mode. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye.